His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safiya Palace the Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abu Al Ghaid. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's support to the Arab League's efforts in enhancing joint Arab action and unifying words between badly countries in order to face all challenges and defend the nation's issues. His Majesty welcomed Abu Al Ghaid and hailed his efforts in improving the level and performance of the Arab League in the political, diplomatic, and developmental fields. He stressed the importance of enhancing cooperation amongst Arab countries in order to protect Arab issues and achieve the aspirations of nations and their people. He affirmed his support to all initiatives aiming at benefiting the Arab countries and maintain its security and stability, stressing the need for a stronger cooperation in order to overcome all challenges facing the region. His Majesty then discussed with the Secretary General recent developments regarding Arab affairs. Secretary General of the Arab League thanked His Majesty for his continuous support, praising the firm stances of Bahrain in defending Arab nation issues. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Gdabiya Palace the Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abu Al Ghid, where he discussed topics on Arab regional and international affairs. His Royal Highness affirmed that the Arab nation is currently going through tough circumstances, facing challenges that are threatening its security, stability and peace. He stressed the need for more awareness that matches the level of these threats and for the Arab nations to have a unified goal that will consolidate its ability to face all challenges. The Premier highlighted the recent unfortunate events that affected some Arab countries' security and stability and said that the Joint Arab Actions Priority should aim to bring all Arab countries together and help stop the consumption of their powers and capabilities and strengthen their abilities to face terrorism and foreign interferences. He also emphasized the role of the Arab League plays in facing plans of division, chaos and destruction and called for the need to exert more efforts towards developing joint action of the League in order to maintain stability, sovereignty and unity of the Arab countries. He added that the Arab League forms a frame that reflects the nation's wish for unity and solidarity. He stressed the importance of reinforcing joint Arab cooperation on the economic, political and social levels and advancing the level of coordination. His Royal Highness commended the efforts of the Secretary General in reinforcing joint Arab cooperation and affirmed the Kingdom's support for the Arab League. Mr. Abu Al Ghaid thanked the Premier for his stance regarding Arab and national affairs, which reflects his political wisdom that had a great effect on serving Arab matters. He expressed appreciation for Bahrain's firm stances in support of Arab unity in different fields and its role in defending Arab countries' interests. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qutaybiya Palace the President of the Supreme Judicial Council, Chancellor Salim bin Mohammed Al Kuwari, and members of the Shura and Representatives Council in the presence of the former Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Mr. Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Dahrani. The Prime Minister urged the necessity of unity as the challenges being faced today leave no room for disputes. He said that what should be considered a priority at this stage is the country's security and stability, defending it from internal and external interventions, advancing its economic developmental march and leaving behind matters that would only lead to division. He added that the relations that bond the kingdoms to people are more sophisticated and superior than anything that might affect it. He said that differences in point of view do not lead to disputes and that everybody agrees on national interests. The Premier reviewed with the audience national affairs, particularly those regarding developing these services provided for the people as he stressed the government's keenness on advancing 
enhancing the level of these services, especially in villages. He affirmed a keenness on following up the executive stance of the government's projects to ensure they meet the preset goals of providing comfort for the citizens. He is a Royal Highness stressed the government's desire to enhance its cooperation with the Council of Representatives to serve national interests. He reiterated all support to the legislative branch in order for it to be able to assume its legislative and monitoring role, noting that the current critical situation and its various challenges require focusing on national efforts towards achieving the interests of the nation and the citizens and maintaining national security and stability. Turning to regional and global issues, the Prime Minister lauded the role played by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in serving Islam and Muslims. He praised the great services Saudi Arabia provides for Hajj pilgrims, calling on pilgrims to support those dedicated efforts. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at the Dhabiya Palace today. He commended the outcomes of the official visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to Turkey and hailed the positive impact it had on the bilateral relations that resulted in the signing of a number of agreements and planning executive programs. He also highlighted His Majesty the King's participation in opening of Sultan Salim the first bridge and the heartfelt reception of Turkey's government and people. The cabinet denounced the terrorist bombing in southeast Turkey last Friday that resulted in the deaths of 11 people and tons of injuries. They expressed condolences to the victims and wished the injured a speedy recovery. The council also stressed the government's full support to the Turkish government and its people. The prime minister stressed the importance of distributing housing units, especially in villages and the capital, based on the seniority caliber, and to be in line with the government's policies in providing high living standards for the people of Bahrain. He directed to finish the housing projects for Dumistan, Shahura, Janusan 
and Karana by the end of 2017 and to finish the development projects in Jawa and Askar as well as housing and municipal services in the same area and directed to work on the municipal facilities and infrastructure services of Al Shahura village. His Royal Highness instructed the Central Bank of Bahrain to strengthen supervision on the procedures of financial institutions that offer personal loans and to protect consumers' interests from any violations, as well as ensuring that consumers commit to the requirements of the institutions. He also directed the Ministry of Health to coordinate with the Supreme Council of Health to expand the visiting doctor program and to recruit global medical expertise for treating extreme medical cases. The cabinet approved two memorandums of understanding with Russia, the first one in gas trade and joint investments and the second regarding partnership in the field of geophysical survey work. They also discussed a recommendation letter from the Ministerial Committee for Financial Affairs regarding the amendments of industrial services fees. They also discussed the two agreements issued by International Maritime Organization, the first one regarding amendments of the 1976 Convention on Limitation of Liability for Maritime Claims, and the second about the 2001 International Convention on Civil Liability for Bunker Oil Pollution Damage. The Cabinet referred to the representative Council two draft laws regarding amendments of election municipal council members law and the other about amendments of Office of Financial and Administrative Count Control Law. They also discussed five suggestions by the Representatives Council to provide some schools with more teachers, teachers' rewards and incentives. The other suggestions included medical treatments abroad, Bahrain stock markets and planning and scientific research. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Qatabiya Palace today a chairman of the Egyptian General Federation of Trade Unions and head of the manpower of the Egyptian Parliament, Jabali Mohammed Jabali, and his delegation in the presence of Chairman of the Executive Council of the Bahrain Free Labour Union Federation, Yagoub Mohammed Youssef, and Chairman of the International and Arab Relations of the Free Labour Union Federation. His Royal Highness welcomed the attendees and praised the bilateral deep rooted relations and their development. He hailed the role of the Egyptian General Federation of Trade Unions in support of the Bahraini Free Labor Union Federation, stressing the need to enhance cooperation between the two countries to benefit both countries and people. He praised the role of Egypt in enhancing joint Arab action and defending the stability of the Arab nation. He affirmed Bahrain's firm stances to Egypt in order to maintain the security and stability of the broadly country. He also stressed the need for holding more visits, exchanging of expertise and strengthening cooperation. The Prime Minister hailed the role of the Egyptian community in Bahrain and their contributions to support the march of progress of the kingdom. Mr. Yusuf thanked His Royal Highness for his efforts to enhance the joint Arab action. He pointed out the gains made by Bahrain in the fields of labor and trade union movements and hailed the support of the wise leadership and the people of Bahrain to the Egyptian community. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met yesterday evening at Rafa Palace the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Also present were a number of senior Bahraini sports officials and athletes who participated at the Rio 2016 Olympics in Brazil and the son of the Crown Prince Hassan Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Crown Prince congratulated the athletes and officials on the team's strong performance in Rio, adding that the kingdom has always taken great pride in the accomplishments of its athletes in local and international sporting events. He particularly congratulated Bahrain's long-distance runner Ruth Ribet for earning a gold medal at the Rio Olympics in the women's 3,000 meters 
Mr. Staples Chase events and for breaking the women's 3,000 meter world record at the Diamond League meet this week in Paris. He said Jabet's outstanding achievements are a first for the kingdom in international endurance running competitions. The Crown Prince said Bahrain's athletes had demonstrated a high level professional sportsmanship, achieving global success with record breaking accomplishments, which had honored and elevated the kingdom's standing on the international stage. In this regard, His Royal Highness acknowledged the tremendous support provided to Bahrain's sport sector by His Majesty the King, which had led to a remarkable and substantive improvement over the past few years. He praised the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid in improving Bahrain's sports and recreational sector. He also noted that the support provided by the kingdom had yielded astonishing results and was of evidence in the athletes' efforts in strengthening stamming and perseverance per perseverance he affirmed bahrain's readiness to invest in and support all who have the skills ability and potential to compete as the kingdom takes a pride in its talented citizens for their part their highnesses sheikh nasser and sheikh khalid praised the crown prince's support for bahrain's youth and sports sector and their efforts to achieve ongoing success the audience expressed their gratitude for the opportunity to meet his royal highness and noted that the support received by him would motivate them to fresh achievements in the near future, further elevating Bahrain's standing in the range of disciplines. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa met today with the Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abu Al Ghaid. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak welcomed the Secretary General, affirming the League's role in enhancing joint Arab cooperation. Abu Al Ghaid thanked the Deputy Prime Minister, praising the role and support of Bahrain in enhancing joint Arab action and enhancing cooperation and coordination between Badli countries to defend Arab issues. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak held the lunch banquet in honor of Mr. Abu Al Ghaid, attended by Foreign Minister. Sir, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, Minister of Cabinet Affairs Muhammad bin Ibrahim Al Mutawa, His Majesty the King's advisor Nabil Al Hamar, and senior officials. Royal Guard Commander Brigadier General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa in the presence of the Royal Guard's Special Forces Commander Major His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, also a commander of BDF Special Task Force 6, received at Air Sakhir at Isa Air Base members of the task force participating in the Operation Restoring Hope in Yemen within the Saudi led Arab Coalition. His Highness Sheikh Nasser welcomed the members of the BDF Special Task Force and thanked them for their dedication in carrying carrying out their sacred national duty alongside their brethren in the Saudi-led Arab coalition to support legitimacy in Bradley, Yemen. He lauded their noble sacrifices as well as their courage and heroism while undertaking their national duty to defend the rights and support efforts to restore legitimacy in Yemen. Royal General, Royal Guard Deputy Commander Brigadier Hamad Al Khalifa Al Naimi, senior BDF officers and family members of the task force's personnel also attended the ceremony. Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa met today with the Arab League's uh, Secretary General Ahmed Abu Al Ghaid. The minister took pride in Abu Al Ghaid's visit to the kingdom and renewed his congratulations to him on his assignment. He affirmed confidence in the Secretary General's capabilities to further reinforce and develop pan Arab action in the interest of the nation in his capacity as a seasoned diplomat of high status and broad diplomatic expertise, wishing him all success. The minister emphasized a key role of the Arab League in cementing inter-Arab bonds and protecting their integrity particularly at this very critical moment as they are facing huge challenges that might put their national institutions and gains at risk. Abu al Ghaid hailed the distinguished role played by Bahrain under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King in underpinning security and stability in the region, unifying ranks and coordinating Arab country stances. He thanked Bahrain for its continued support for him and for the Arab League and for its ongoing efforts to reinforce joint Arab action as this would be the main tool to cement the challenges at all levels wishing Bahrain progress and prosperity.
A press conference was held by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Arab League Secretary General. The Foreign Minister affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain will spare no efforts in supporting the Arab League and in its rights to strengthen Arab joint action in order to lead the Arab world to further stability. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed said that he discussed with Mr. Abul Ghaid different regional issues, including the situation in Syria, Yemen, the relations with the neighboring countries, as well as the issue of terrorism. The Arab League Secretary General expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier for their support to the Arab League and its actions. He added that during his discussions with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the two sides agreed on the need to exert efforts towards issues related to the situation in the Arab world. He highlighted the discussion involved in see the, situa in the situation in Libya, Syria and Yemen, adding that the two sides agreed on the need for joint Arab action. Under the directives of His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Head of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Youth and Sports, received Bahrain's Olympic champion Ruth Jabet upon her arrival in Bahrain after smashing the world record in the women's 3,000 meters steeplechase by more than six seconds at the Paris Diamond League's meeting on Saturday. The Minister conveyed the greetings of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and the first deputy. Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and their congratulations on the historic achievements. He expressed the pride in her accomplishments, while reflect which reflects the care and follow-up of the kingdom to sports and youth movements.